A group of education advocates from Hawaii are in Washington, D.C. tonight in hopes of bringing home more school funding. Last month, Hawaii was named a finalist in the second round of the Race to the Top competition. The national competition is aimed at improving struggling schools by giving out $3.4 billion in federal grants. Tomorrow, Hawaii's delegation, shown here, will give a presentation outlining our state's reform program. In all, 10 states will receive Race to the Top funding. If awarded, Hawaii's share could reach a maximum of $75 million. The Hawaii State Teachers Association today endorsed Neil Abercrombie in the Democratic primary election for governor. The union says it selected Abercrombie because he has spent most of his professional life working to improve the lives of teachers and students. KITV4's Demby Fawcett joins us from the newsroom. Demby, was that the key reason for the endorsement? Yes, besides Neil Abercrombie's lifetime of promoting public education, the teachers' union says it likes Abercrombie's Washington connections as a former congressman and as a personal friend of President Obama. The Hawaii State Teachers Association represents 13,000 public school teachers. Its leaders like Neil Abercrombie's open spirit and connections. Neil has a, a record in Congress and supporting teachers for 30 years. And we feel that uh, with no child left behind, he has a, uh, a direct link to the president and also to Congress in making corrections to the no child left behind. In a written statement, Democratic opponent Mufi Hanneman said, quote, I understand the vote on the HSTA endorsement was extremely close. Hanneman vowed his own support for education. Abercrombie said he would prohibit teacher furloughs. I am confident that working with the President of the United States, working with the Congress, and working with the legislature and the Board of Education, we are going to see the children come first and that furlough Fridays will be a sad legacy of the past that will not be repeated. Abercrombie says he prefers the school board be appointed, but he would work with either appointed or elected boards. His key initiative is to bring more decision making to the school level. In practical terms, you, you, you push the decisions down to the school level, uh, away from uh, the, the, the district and, uh, and the, 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 the central, Honolulu-centric, if you will, um, uh, decision-making process. Abercrombie holding up the scrapbook of an Ina Heine elementary fifth grader said in the end it's all about the individual child. Hanneman also promises no school furloughs in the future. Hanneman said he's okay with either an elected or appointed board. Hanneman promises collaboration and school budget support. This is the second education union endorsement for Neil Abercrombie. Hanneman has been endorsed by several public worker unions. Coming up at 6, we'll look at whether union support makes a difference. Reporting live, Denby Fawcett, KITV4 News.